We're in the shade, so this is fine. You do not ever want to do this in the hot sun, right? What would happen if we were doing this in direct sunlight? It would dry yep. too fast. Yep. And then you would and leave, leave watermarks. Oh, whose daughter <laughs> are you? How did you know that? We'll get the wheel to it. Look how dirty the wheel is. Wheel is okay. dirty. First thing we're going to do is rinse it. Let's get off as much dirt as we can. Ooh, those insides are bad. Then I'm going to grab DIY Details Iron Remover. And it's going to help release those iron particles that are stuck on the metal. We're going to go right on top with Brake Buster diluted, diluted 10 to 1. We're going to make sure we get this in the barrel. Look at all that purple. See the, see the chemical reaction already? Sodium thyglocamate. Is that the right word I'm look, looking for? When you see that purple reaction, you know. It's not, look at all that dirt. Look at that. Mm. Welcome home, man. You think your dad would be <laughs> oh my God, washing how a dirty that is. Yeah, it so is that's dirty. just pulling out like a milkshake. So you remember those inner wheels? This is, that's called the wheel barrel, Emily, okay? The barrel in there. Okay. A lot of people don't wash those. We rinse it off. It goes right back in the bucket. What's the next step? Soft bristle brush. Brake buster, 10 to 1. Come right in here. Lug nuts first. Legs of the spoke, and then an into every individual area. Look at all that purple coming down on the ground. We are getting near the end. What are we going to clean next time? What's missing? What haven't we done yet? Um, rinse it off. No. Tire. This is a Detail Factory tire scrub brush. Look at all that. And the magic's coming up, folks. Did you need to do the other one? That back one's done. Yep. Mm -hmm. Now watch. So here's the big thing. Actually, Emily, run and grab me that orange spray bottle on that on that shelf. Yep. We're gonna rinse off the dirt. Watch it, thing it might hit you. Now here, Dana already saw one product. We're gonna show them the other one. This is Gion Wet Coat. There's no beading, there's no protection. We're gonna spray this. As soon as it hits the water, look what's happening. It's water activated. Where the water just fall off. So we have protection now because look, the water can't even hang on it. Therefore, the wheels will be easier to clean the next time. Let's move <laughs> to the next wheel. All right, Dane, give the wheel a good rinse, tire, and the wheel up. We're going to use an active 2.0 pressure washer with an SPF 28 gun. Oh yeah, so as much dirt out as you can. Alright, stop right there. Grab the bottle, it says iron. And spray the wheel a couple times. Yep. And in the barrel a little bit too. Do like five sprays. Yep, and every opening. Go right in a little closer, right in the barrel. Get in there. There you go. <laughs> now grab the pump foamer. This is a... On Amazon, about $89. That's Foam up fun. the whole, yeah, I love it. Foam the wheel, tire, and then a squirt in each opening of the barrel. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look at all the purple on the brake. Look at all that. See? Oh, my God. That's bonded iron from his brake. His brake. I'm going to put that back in there. Let's grab the easy detail brush. Go in each opening and do it like a clock. So you're starting at 6 o'clock, right? Yeah. So go up to your left. <laughs> You will do everything in order that way you don't miss a spot. So he's working his way around the clock. Look at that That's sludge so coming dirty. out. Look at that. <laughs> and by providing the wet coat at the end, we're going to protect the barrels of the wheel too. Therefore, this brake, if you were to do this just once a month, it's not going to accumulate and ever get this nasty. Now spray away like down underneath the front and spray that brush off like underneath the car. Yeah. Yeah. Get all the dirt out and put it down to the spot. Perfect. Follow with the green bristle. Green and bristle. Give a nice scrub to everything. I scrub. You would think it would scratch. It's not. There's so much lubrication from the brake buster and the foam. There, there is, and it's a soft brush. It's not going to scratch. If you're really worried about damaging the wheels, it's still filming. Mm -hmm. You would use what's called a detail. This is a detail factory. It's like a makeup brush. Try that, Dane, on the lugs. Hit every lug nut with that brush. Watch this. He already knows what to do. Yeah, a lot of people miss that spot. You're gonna hit each lug and then also clean real Anybody good around the valve stem. 
Those are the very dirty areas that nobody ever cleans. What else did you say? Uh, finish with the valve stem around it. So when you fill your tires, yeah, just clean around it. Yep, perfect. And then put it right back in, uh, upside down. And then you, you see that you clean the wheel pretty good. See if you missed anything. Yep, and you can finish the same brush on the tire. Then when you're done, so you cleaned all the wheel face, right, I think? Yep. When you're done, give it a rinse just like you did the, uh, no, rinse it with oh. the gun because you'll want that clean before we go to the next one. Yeah, point it down, rinse away from it because it goes everywhere. Yep. All right, here comes the fun part. Rinse the wheel off. Watch this. <laughs> I love this part. Give it a good rinse. Top down. Kind of angle it. Come up here and angle down. Yeah, there you go. There you go. It helps flush. Yeah. Wow. Rinse it out. Now we got a clean wheel and tire, right? Get a little bit of that soap off there. Now, let's hit the neon wet coat, which is right here. I would say four sprays. One, two, three, four, four in a spray. fashion of a clock. This is meant to go on a, oh, you might have to open it a little bit. I think I closed it. Just open it a little bit. Yep, a couple sprays right on the wheel. And then going like this too, right in the barrel. Okay, now let's rinse this and watch the magic. All right. Top down, same thing. And you're gonna rinse till all the residue's gone, because that's working. There it goes. Rinse it out of lug nuts. Look at that thing be like brand new, that's it. Dane's got it down already. He's feeling it. Are you having fun? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He loves his shoes. You're using <laughs> top now. He was talking about stuff. how dirty his car was today. <laughs> it was. Well, take care. He came to the right. You want to do the last he one? He came to the right. Same let me thing. do the, let me do the last first. one. Let me do the last one. You're going to do Emily, one? Emily, you stop real quick. Emily just came from Italy, my college daughter. Why do we start with the wheels and tires first? Any guess? So... It's the dirtiest part of the, the, the vehicle. Of the it's the harshest environment. It's the dirtiest. <laughs> We don't want to look. This is we don't want to wash and get this white paint beautiful. And come back and get that slop all over everything. Start with wheel tires. All right, Emily, give it a good rinse. Get right in there. Spray in the barrel the wheel. Okay. Grab the bottle that says iron, and give it about five sprays around the face, not on the tire. Oh, is it open? Yep. Get closer, closer, closer. Yep. And in the barrel too. Yep. Each one. Get in there. Got to get in there. There you go. There you go. Grab the foamer with Brake Buster 10 to 1, and foam up the whole wheel and tire. Oh, she is a natural. A nice lather on every surf, get it on the tire especially, you want the tire, because that'll start breaking the grease and, and stuff, yep. Use the big blue brush right there. Start whatever, like a clock, you just have to remember that's where you're gonna finish. Get in, yep, and you're scraping. Yes, that's pretty good, that's pretty good. And I do a side to side motion like that too, because if you pull it in and out, it's going to slop all over you. So kind of give it in, go back and forth, finish with the one, the one area. Look at all that purple. And then you're going to point the brush kind of under the car and rinse it off with your, your gun. Oh, whoa, whoa. There you go. Yep, here you go. It's, it's got pressure, don't it? That active's got some pressure. And then throw it back in its holder. Reach for the green big flag tip brush. Do the face of the wheel. Uh, no, 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 no. Face the wheel first. The wheel. Yep. Yeah. Do the whole wheel. You finish with the tire very last. Okay. And then get in each. Yep. She's not doing a good job. Don't be, don't be <laughs> She's right. doing okay. Let me show you. Let me show you like this. Come around like this. I know. Come around like this. And then use the brush in the shape. See the shape? Yeah. It's messy. That's good. <laughs> now let's put it back here. We're almost to getting to the fun part. Give it a good rinse. Stand back a little bit. Top down. There you go. Perfect. Rinse all that soap down until all the white's gone off the wheel, off the tire. Turn it. Yeah, go different directions. So you're hitting everything. And then grab the one that has no name on it. We're going to use DIY Details Quick Beads. Very similar to Wet Coat. Give it a shake first. Five. Get closer, closer, closer. Closer. There you go. Get in there. Closer. Do the barrel two. Inside. Good, grab the gun, and watch this. Rinse it top down until the frothing is gone. Oh, it smells oh, really good. Keep going. It yeah, great. it smells good, yeah. I'll give quick beads definitely the smell advantage for sure. That's it. The only last thing we would do at the very end of the vehicle after we wash it, when the tire's dry, you'd put on tire dressing, but that's it. He's using the IK foamer. It's called the E. 
iPhone Pro 12, it's electric, it's got a compressor in it. We're putting on DIY details, all clean, 15 to one with some incredible suds. He's gonna foam up all the paint, just a thin layer. Yeah, thin layer, as long as you get it wet with it, then you're good. Yes. What is this doing? This is gonna break down all the gunk off the paint and let us rinse almost all the dirt off the vehicle. Isn't that fun? It is fun. Yeah. And it's okay on the glass a little bit. We just would never want to let it dry. So your main thing is you're coating all your plastic and paint. Especially behind the wheels, rocker panels right here, that bird poop. Yep. yep. All that. I want to layer on all that. Concentrate on that area too. Yep. Especially around the wheels. And you'll see the dirt will just start falling down and start sliding. Oh, it's, yeah, this area, yep. you're gonna cake that lower rockers. Around, again, look at that dirt melting. Turn that up underneath. Oh my gosh, look at the stuff just sliding off. Right here, watch this, man. Look at the yellow. Now we're doing this in direct sunlight. It is eating organic materials and melting it. A 40 degree, excuse me, this is about 25 degree tip. This has some pressure to it. Whenever we hit our pressure washer, we don't spray at the car first. We make sure it's seated. Now we're gonna rinse top down. Never wanna let tap water dry in the sun, but this is perfect. So if you look here, here's the good thing though. There's no grit. This is just traffic film and oils. We've released most of the grit, so the less chance of scratching the paint when we wash it. Because we're getting the grit off. But yeah, this needs to wash. Lots of grit down here, but as I take my pressure washer, a lot of the grit comes out. Right there. Perfect. We're going to turn our CR Spotless on. I was just using tap water. Now we're going to use filtered water. And now, let's pick out a soap to use. Being that his car is white, and we want to get off as much brake dust and fallout as we can, we're going to use Gion's Restart Wash. I'm going to put about 10 pumps of this in here, or more. This is going to really help. I come home and then it's dated. Yeah. <laughs> this is going to, this is, Emily's going to want to spray this part when she sees this. MJJC foam can 3.0. Wait, it looks dirty still. Uh -oh, we're getting ready to, we're going to foam it. Oh, okay. Wash it. What was that in part? As the spot free water comes in, you'll see it thicken up. Starting to get thicker. Are you having fun? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Right here, there we go. This is change. See that? Look at that. Look at that. That's gonna put, it's gonna break down the dirt. It's gonna provide lubrication of our wash underneath. Oh yeah. Here we go. You wanna try it out? Yeah. She's gonna foam it. So think of it like painting the car. You do all the wall work and come up and you just want everything covered in snow foam. <laughs> Yeah. Get out of the top. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, hit me. <laughs> I yeah. need to do the back side. Get the top. Yeah, Go. I already did the back. Get the top. The windows back up a little bit. Come down, do the windows, and swing around and do the front end. Real quick. Come around here, right where I am. Yeah, we form the whole front. Oh, yeah. Yeah, look at that foam. The very first thing we do. Emily, grab that blue and white mitt that's hanging behind you to your left of that. Unpluck that and put it in the red bucket, please. Behind you, yep, let's drop it right in. These are areas that the mitt will not hit very well. Watch your badge well, you over here. To get the water yeah, yeah, you do. We're not, you don't put your hand in it. Oh. So Dane's car is getting spoiled. Car are, guy meets clean car. Yep, so these are areas that the mitt <laughs> won't hit real well. Emily, do you want to start washing with the mitt or bring it here? Right in here. 
Any other badges? Look at this. Now watch. Soaking wet. Yep. Hold on. Roll the roll the bucket out. A lot of people miss this stuff, don't they, Dane? Oh, all the time. Yep. If you really want to get these clean, you use a product called a water spot remover. After you get done, and there's that junk that builds up like scales on a fish tank, you'd use the water spot remover. All right, come on here. Still filming? Yep. All right, little tricky edges. Emily, set that on top of the vehicle. Right up here on the roof, right up here. Okay. We're gonna really place it in the bucket. Guys, buy a, buy a roller dolly. See the grit guard in there? That's called a dirt, that's called a, a dirt guard one. Now look at this. Start at the top. All that sludge is coming right off. Look at that bright white paint. So I do the greenhouse of the car first. You're not gonna scratch glass. Flip the mitt, this is dirty. Go to the clean side, right? Come down, do the windshield. And I like to do the whole top of the car first, under the mirror. Okay, now we go to the bucket. Rinse it out. Do the other half of the top. You getting bored yet, Emily, or are you okay? It's okay, I'm good. He's gonna, He's this is gonna look so good after this. It's gonna look so good. Look at all that dirt just melting. So, Restart Wash has some of that ingredient that removes brake dust built into it. So it's taking that brake dust and helping it melt off the painted surfaces and glass too. Nice. You might see some of that purple reaction. We're not gonna clay this today. We're just doing a wash and applying some protection. So the greenhouse is done. Let's rinse it out. Put our mitt down, start in the center. Come on. It's getting dirty, let's flip it. If something doesn't come off and two quick passes, stop rubbing it. You need a different chemical cleanup. Some people sit there and scrub, yeah, like scrub, right scrub. That's rough. That's oh. rough. That paint chip. So if something doesn't come off right away, stop scrubbing. You're gonna scratch your paint up. If you have tar or sap, and you sat there and just scrub, 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 it's not coming off. You need a dedicated chemical for that. You just want two passes. One, two, doesn't come off and then stop scrubbing it. Well, here's brake dust. See this iron spot? See that orange? So you have brake dust. That'll be all real bad on the back of the car. So if I clay it, that'll get it off. But some of this soap will help break some of that off. All right, since we're here, let's get the front end on. And then we're going to switch in a second. I'm going to show you one spot. All right. So here's your technique. I'm going to do this front, and you're going to do the rest. Okay. Start with a clean mitt. You take one side of the mitt. You go down a panel. You finish at the very dirty spot, flip it, and do the next section and stop there. There's a lot of brake dust there. I'm gonna do one spot in the door and you're gonna keep it going, okay? All right. Rinse it out. One, two, three, four, six. It's seven, a workout. Four. Yeah, right down to the bottom. And we don't bring that dirt up. You gotta flip it to the clean side. That dirt came right off. So you're learning the safe way to wash. You see it come off. So yeah. you start at the top, finish with the dirt at the bottom, rinse it out. And, and then this is a long door here. So I would maybe start at the top, go down, flip it and do this half. Yep, you're good. Just a moderate amount of pressure, not a ton. You're basically just holding enough pressure to keep the mitt from falling. Do about each passes on each line. Yep, one, two, back and forth. Flip the sponge. And then what you missed on the door, yep. You're getting it. And get down in here a little bit too. Yeah, there you go, there you go. <laughs> Finish with the bottom. And the foam will help you, like tell if you miss a spot, like right here. Yep. See, yeah, 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 you can hit it. Finish with the bottom, go back and rinse that mitt out. You're really supposed to rub it against the grit guards in the bucket, but as long as you're getting it, look how clean this is looking. Yeah. Hey, I'm cleaning. We're in the shade, so this is fine. You do not ever want to do this in the hot sun, right? What would happen if we were doing this in direct sunlight? It would dry yep. too fast. 
Yep. And then you would and leave, leave watermarks. Oh, whose daughter <laughs> are you? How did you know that? Yeah. How did you know? I don't know. I just Especially yeah. one of the worst I was spots. Born with it. <laughs> One of the worst spots to have water spots is on glass. Terrible. Terrible. I freaking hate it. It's the worst. Flip it. We're near the end. Okay, it's raining in the ground. Make sure it's super. Okay. Go ahead and start rinsing the car. Top down. And you'll notice, Emily, go show him squirting the water on the hook. There's no beating there, right? Remember that. We're going to come back there. It's flat. You don't want to see flat. That means he has no protection, no, no hydrophobic. Emily, can you see the hood? No beating. Let's do like no one, two, beating. three, four, five, six. Yep. A little closer. Yep. Look at that. Are you learning something today, Dane? So, yeah, I am. so you can see it. If I, if I saw that it wasn't separate in the rod water real well. I'd spray, spray a little bit more. Now here's the trick. Rinse from one side to the other. And that's it for the frosting is gone. If I see an area that's flat, I'll just reapply. That, look, at that, look at that beauty. Beautiful. If you want to go, I'll follow you. Let's start right down. Uh, side, just do like one spray go. Yeah, one on the quarter panel. Yeah, get closer, get close. <laughs> yeah, like that's okay. Ready to show close here? Yep. Yeah, all the way around. All the way around. Do everything. Get everything left. Yeah, you gotta make that soft. And get the roof too. Yes, make that noise. <laughs> get them on the roof. You get on the roof? Yeah. Look at that separating, yep. And then get that side. Yep. <laughs> All the way up the side of the car. We poured black coat in one of those sprayers. Look, we barely used any. Yep, one spray each panel. Right, get close, get close, yep. Yeah. And I can close it off. Yep, get close, yep. All right, hold the bottle up. How much you use? Oh my God. Barely any. Barely any. Barely any. any. It's barely yeah. any. You gotta that off. Look, I changed my gun. Oh, the window. No beating. No beating. Are you freaking serious? Oh, look at that. Watch. Oh, my God. Oh, Watch. my God. Look at that. Wow. Look at that beating. Yeah, family. Emily just asked a good question. Let's look at the car. Okay. Do we need to dry it? Well, since we rinsed with spot-free water, we don't need to. But you don't have that at home. Watch this, Em. <laughs> Look at that. Stop blowing. Wow. <laughs> Auto fiber dreadnoughts. This is the drying blanket. Look how big that is. Open that up, Dane. Oh my gosh. So you would use that to dry a car. This is the Rag Company gauntlet. Wow. What's my favorite? But yes, if you had to dry the car now, you would just come in and dry it. But we don't need Easy to, we peasy. got spot free water. We got spot free water. Spot free water. Spot free water. That's it. Spot free, free, <laughs> <laughs> Look at this that's beautiful, that's shiny, that's Dude, that's white it. baby. Look at her. And then we'll go right back up in the top left. Right All right. That's it, let's get some food. Let's go get some food. Ooh.